Hey everyone, <clears throat> good morning, it's Emmanuel. Um, it is, let's see, November 1st, 2019. Thank you guys for waiting. Uh, I um, was just finishing up a session and so I just wanted to see who uh, is on here that maybe ha you haven't maybe tried the emotion code, you haven't tried the body code at all. And I, I kind of promised myself probably a few weeks ago uh, that I wanted to reach out to more people and see if I could help out. Um, at no cost, you know, just to kind of give back, uh, especially to my friends on Facebook. A lot of friends who maybe haven't, um, who are dealing with physical symptoms or emotional symptoms and maybe they've gone through the ringer and they haven't, nothing's really worked for them and they're trying to see if there's something else out there kind of like in the holistic alternative medicine. And I've never seen anything like this in regards to this um, kind of a holistic approach to sort of asking your subconscious what's uh, what's needed, um, what's needed to, you know, help out. And, um, and so the thing is, is, um, yeah, if you can do me a small favor, um, I've obviously, I'm, I'm, I keep deleting people from my Facebook, uh, just because like it's getting kind of full, but if you have an Instagram, uh, if you guys can follow me on Instagram, it's the only requirement that I ask, uh, is that you follow me on my Instagram just because it'll probably be a better platform for me in the future. Cause I'm going to be doing some more lives over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my Instagram handle down there. And uh, that's the only requirement I ask if you want to volunteer. Um, and so let's just do that real quick. So Instagram.com. And what we'll do is <clears throat> we'll do, um, let me see. Yeah, so I'm just going to put the link down there so you guys might see me. I just posted something up there. Uh, if you guys can click on that, uh, that'd, be, that'd be great. And so, yeah, if you want to volunteer, just go ahead and just follow me on Instagram and we can... Um, do some work here. So <clears throat> also if you like, again, one of the major requirements is you haven't tried the emotion code. You haven't tried the, the body code. That's, that's really important too. Like, I want to let new people uh, be able to be facilitated by this type of healing. You probably know people, if you guys can do me a small favor, uh, I know this month is the month of Thanksgiving if you're in America, but I think the best way to really give someone a gift is to help them move some way physically, emotionally, spiritually. I think right now we're like in a society full of band-aids. A lot of people like to, here, let me just put this band-aid on you. You'll feel good for a couple minutes, which could include medication or it could include um, thought uh, talk therapy. You know, there's just many things that for now it kind of worked and maybe like it got you through the day. But more than ever, I've never felt more of a request by just the global society that they're not looking, we're not looking for band-aids anymore. Like we're tired of band-aids. We want to actually heal emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And we don't want no fluff stuff. We want something that really, really works. And I think people are just fed up of being fed up. And I think when I use the body code, I work with a lot of people who have, like I said, gone through this healer, this healer, or this this, um, you know, Western medicine approach, this, 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 and they're just like, nothing's working. I'm, I'm kind of in a state of like, I don't know what to do now. And I, and then a lot of body code practitioners who are watching this, you you know, you're like, hey, there's hope. And I can clearly say that when I look at someone's eyes or I, I talk to them over the phone, I'm like, there's hope out there. And I've seen some really great results. So for those of you who are brand new, feel free to um, message below where you're dialing in from, where you're watching this you know, what state you're in, what country you're in. I'd like to kind of like, I always like to see where you guys are, are from. Um, and then then after that, let's go ahead. And if you want to volunteer, say, I would like to volunteer. And obviously, again, with the preface of hopefully you've never used the emotion code, body code, or you've never done a session with me before. Uh, you can say you've done the emotion code, body code before somewhere else, but you haven't done one with me. Um, <clears throat> and I want to give people who um, have never worked with me a chance and have never used the body code. And so let's let's get started here. Um, uh, okay, so there's and, and by the, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a list of everybody here. I see like Heidi Fox, uh, you know, that's one person here. Uh, there's also um, Jaka. I'm going to see if I can pronounce it right. Jaka Vovic. I don't know if that's correct. If I if I if I'm if I mess that up, I'm really sorry. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so Jaka, I got Jaka there. Uh, I know it's, you actually made a note here that you have some MS, you know, so I'm going to make a note of that there. Um, is, there anything, is there anybody um, else that would like to volunteer? Uh, feel free to 
uh, let me know, and then we can uh, get started. So we have Heidi and Jock. Is there anybody else here? And this is a good time, again, if you want to uh, tag someone and just ask them, you know, like, hey, I thought about you. This would be a good time. In fact, it, it would be really great to afterwards when we're done with this, if you can share this on your wall and tag anybody that you think would appreciate this, that they're like, you know they're having physical issues or you know they're dealing with depression, anxiety, or PTSD, and they uh, maybe they're, for right now, they're just coping with it with medication. Maybe this can help them out and you can save their life because I'm telling you, after a while, uh, unfortunately, with medication and with some other uh, methods, um, the body starts wearing down. You know, now they have immune system problems. You know, now they have all these other things. So, all right, so we have Heidi. We have uh, Jaka. Okay, anybody else like to volunteer? I haven't done work with you. Okay, we got Shayla. Okay, so we got Shayla. Oh, it's Yaka. Wait, Yaka? Is that how you say it? Okay, sorry about that. Um, good morning, Marlene. Good morning, Claudia. Hey, Christian, how are you? Um, Chris, Jose, Megan, how are you? Glad you guys are here. Um, again, this is a good time. If you want to tag somebody, if someone comes to mind that you're like, they would appreciate this, um, feel free to do that right now. And we're just going to give it about one more minute here. And then we're going to see if we can work with someone. And feel free to message me later if you want to message me personally and say, hey, you know, I want to get this work done. Um, and then let me know. And then I can, I can kind of let you know what different packages we have or there's just different ways to move forward with your healing. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, for the, you know, if someone, for example, I worked with that had fibromyalgia pain and it took us three sessions. Now that's not, I don't want to say that's like, you know, like, you know, with little subtitles here, it's like everyone is different. Sometimes it may take six, sometimes they take three, sometimes one even. Um, but hey, let's think about that. Three sessions. She had fibromyalgia pain for 10, 15 years. And that's only an hour and a half of work. And her pain went down from a nine to a one by the third session. The first two sessions, we didn't see much change. But the third session went from a nine to a one. Do you think she, she got her worth uh, for that? Yeah, for sure. That's only an hour and a half of work for a very serious condition that many doctors still are like, I have no idea why you're dealing with this pain. But you can take this medication for now. And so uh, we have to think about kind of like the, the timing of all this. So, uh, okay, so we have three volunteers. We have Heidi, we have Jaka, we have Shay. Uh, is there anybody else like to volunteer? We'll just give you one more minute <clears throat> and then we'll just dive into it here. <clears throat> Okay, so let, let's just get started here. Um, again, thanks guys for joining. And for those of you who are not familiar with the emotion code and body code and maybe you, you wanna know more about it, uh, feel free to go to YouTube and just look up emotion code 15 minutes and then look up heart wall 15 minutes. I'll talk about the heart wall later on for you guys and uh, because I always like to kind of mention to you that one of the major blocks people have is having this heart wall. And it's kind of like what you don't know, you don't know can be hurting you. You guys have heard that phrase before. So <clears throat> I'll, I'll give kind of like a five-minute spiel on, on what is the heart wall and do you have one. And, um, and basically, yeah, I'll, I'll do that at the end of our session here. So, uh, okay, so let's, let's get started here. Um, oh, Shayla. <laughs> Oh, she, okay, I got it. Sorry about that. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is let's, let's everyone just take 10 seconds real quick. We'll just ask for some help in our mind. You know, um, Dr. Brad, you know, he always started his chiropractic work with a prayer. Uh, you don't have to believe in God. You can just believe in higher self or universe and things like that. Um, you know, there's no like, you know, certain religion with this body code work uh, or any spiritual preference. It's kind of just, let's just all take 10 seconds real quick. We'll ask for some help in our mind that the session's inspired whoever we work with. Uh, so let's all do that real quick. And if you want to do the little prayer emoji, you can. I mean, I'm not going to stop you from doing the prayer emoji. But let's just take 10 seconds and we'll just, uh, everyone, if we can all do this, ask for some help that our session's inspired and then we'll just jump right into it. And we'll see who we work with. I'll kind of ask, um, I'll connect, if you guys all give me permission, Heidi, Jaka, and Shayla, to connect with you. I'm just going to see right now who needs to be worked on. It's kind of like we can ask sort of like higher self 
uh, to see what we need to work on. So we'll just take 10 seconds. Okay, so let's see here. Um, all right, so let's get started and let's see what we find here. So I'm going to <clears throat> check here who we're gonna work on. Okay, so I'm getting an answer here and just wanna double check. Yeah, so we're gonna work with uh, Jaka here. So um, Jaka, are you there? <clears throat> And if you can, whoever I choose, just let everyone be happy for Jocko, okay? Let's, let's not make this a, a <clears throat> jealousy situation here. Let's everyone be happy for Jocka, and let's, um, and let's all focus good thoughts to Jocka. What we're going to do is we're going to, um, I know obviously I think he mentioned uh, Jocka. Jocka, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to see a picture of you real quick. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just, it looks like you're a male, <laughs> but I don't know. You could be a female. Um, I just can't see by the picture. It looks like you're a man. Um, but anyway, the point is I need to get some information from you real quick. And by the way, I might be able to do a quick session on somebody else afterwards too, so you might want to stick around. So um, yeah, so are you you're a male? Okay, got it. Okay, so <clears throat> so real quick, can you um, where are you where are you from by the way? Where are you uh, dialing in from? Like, are you in uh, the United States? Are you in a different country? Where are you? Where are you at? And then also, if you can give me your age too, and also how long you've been dealing with MS, um, that'd be very interesting to know as well. So, okay, Slovenia. Okay, got it. So you're from Slovenia. Welcome. Well, I'm glad we're connecting here. And um, okay, so in Europe, okay, perfect. And then um, how long have you been dealing with MS for, MS symptoms? How many years? Oh, you're age 32, got it. Thank you for answering all those questions here. Yeah, so how long have you been dealing with these symptoms for? About 19 years, okay, got it. Um, <clears throat> if you can do me a small favor too, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on something um, I'm going to work on MS, see what we find here. But sometimes what I like to do is I like to do something really quick, like a quick like little five-minute session on something. And usually it's just like it's something to do with pain, you know. I know obviously MS, you're probably dealing with a lot of pain. But sometimes I like to kind of like, sometimes I like to just focus on a specific area that you're dealing with um, something. And then we can just dive right in and just do a full-on MS session and see what we find, okay. Um, so can you do me a favor, Jaka? Maybe you can stand up real quick. Um, I know, like I said, if you have MS, you probably have pain all over, but maybe you can look at the most annoying pain that you're dealing with. Like, it's just like, out of all the areas, this is the part that bugs me the most. If you can kind of just stand up, you know, move your neck, you know, move your shoulders, move your lower back, you know, hip area. Where is it for you that you feel like tension, tightness, maybe a little bit of dull pain? Where, where is that for you? Hey, Chris, Kristen. Hey, Meza. Hey, Vinicius. Hey, Don. Hey, welcome, guys. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so let me know, like, if you kind of move around real quick. Where is it for you that you might feel tension, tightness? Uh, where is that? Thanks, guys, for sharing it. Appreciate it, Heidi. Thanks for sharing. <clears throat> if you hear this, dog running around I don't know why he just got really crazy over here but um, oh, I've had this lower back pain since February this year and a little in the neck okay so thank you for uh, asking that uh, or for answering that so now let's get a little bit picky Jaka okay so lower back or the neck I'm guessing the lower back is worse than the neck and if it is um, wh how, what's the pain on it right now from a scale from 1 to 10 10 being very very annoying and one just a little bit there, uh, what number would you give, whatever is the most annoying one, the neck or the lower back? Let's just focus on one of those. And let's just, like I said, um, 
give it a number. Again, 10 being super annoying and one just a little bit there. Thanks, guys, for being so patient here. I definitely want to help out Jaka. Obviously, MS is a very uh, serious condition. And, um, yeah, I, I always love to work with someone who's dealing with, um, you know, just heavy stuff, you know. Very young, 32. You know, it's like, okay, lower back is only when I move it. That might be a good one then. Okay. So when you move it, Jaka, what, what I'm going to say when you move it. Uh, what number is it when you move it? Is it like a five? Oh, a three or three or four? Okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll leave it at a four. So let's get let's get started here. Let's just uh, uh, let's see what we find here. So Jaka, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to find an age and emotion, and if anything, if any memory comes to mind, you can just keep it really simple, Jaka. Just one quick sentence, like I think this has to do with this, or I think this has to do with that. You know, and then we'll just dive. Right, I'll I'll just release it for you. Okay, and for right now, you can just sit down and just relax. And then I'm gonna just release, you know, whatever I find, and um, yeah. So if, and then and then after I release a couple of trapped emotions, um, I'll ask you to kind of take a deep breath, walk around real quick. Then I'll have you check your lower back, see if it feels a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more relaxed, and we'll just kind of go from there. Then I might use the body code a little bit to kind of uh, see if there's something else. And then after that, let's just dive into MS. Let's see if there's something I can do to help out. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I would love it if we can just remove all your MS symptoms in one session. I would love that. Um, have I seen some miraculous things like that? I have actually, yeah. Uh, I know I knew a lady that I worked with who was uh, dyslexic at 19 and she was able to, uh, within one session, I mean, but that's kind of like very, very rare. Um, that doesn't really happen uh, too frequently. Uh, there was also another kid that I worked with who had anxiety attacks or panic attacks for, for two years. And I think it was within one or two sessions, she, he literally, cold turkey, no panic attacks um, at all. He used to have eight panic attacks a day, um, now none. And so that, that, was, uh, that was within one session or two sessions, you know. Um, so that was, that was a pretty huge, but again, that's kind of just kind of the odd man out, the odd woman out. It's not really that common, you know. So, um, okay, so let's do this. Let's, let's work on your lower back real quick. So, Jockey, you can just sit down real quick. And let me see what I find here. So I'm gonna say, I'm just going to go into the... Uh, trapped, um, trapped emotions here, and if you guys can see these emotions, I'm just going to see what I find here. So, I'll say, are there any trapped emotions or hidden trapped emotions that are causing this lower back pain? And, and your body says yes. Okay, so let's see what we find here. Um, okay, so the first thing is a frustration here, and let me see what age this came out. See, thirteen. It's around 12 years old. So usually I ask, is this more home life stuff or more school, maybe feeling frustration? Let me know down there. Maybe just one quick sentence, Jaka, what you think it could have been. Um, and so I'm just going to release this frustration for you real quick. Just for, for timing, I'm just going to kind of move forward. But whenever you get a chance, if any memory pops up or what you think it could have been, let me know. Um, there's another trapped emotion here. There is. Let's see what else we find. Okay, this, this other one is um, self-abuse, kind of being a little bit too hard on yourself, right? So let me see. It's around 17 years old. Um, okay, let's just release this self-abuse here. All right, let's see. There's another trapped emotion here. There is. Let's see. Uh, there's a dread here. So let me look, let me look at the comment section. Sorry, I'm kind of like flying through here real quick. Um, so you were looking at uh, first of all uh, frustration at at 12. Okay, I don't know if you're you're listening to me, Jaka, but frustration at 12 is the first thing I found. There was self abuse at 17. Then I'm looking at dread here too. So if you if you want to, like I said, I'm just going to keep going here um, just for for time's sakes. Oh, school. Okay, yeah, frustration. Uh, school, let me see. Yeah, it was school. Okay, now the reason why I can say it was school, people ask me, how do you confirm that? It's because I'm using muscle testing, and his subconscious records everything perfectly. You know, um, and I can ask. I can be like, hey, what was it? Was it school life or home life? And the body will actually 
tell me like, oh, this has to do with school, you know? Um, and so let's see, um, self abuse, uh, 17, uh, I ask again, is this more of a home life or school or it could be a relationship? Uh, it could be family. I don't know what's going on around 17, but just means there's a moment where you're being a little too hard on yourself. It could be like 18 or 16 as well. Uh, I already removed those two. I'm looking at dread now. Uh, let me see when you got this dread at. Let me see. This is around 24 uh, years old, kind of feeling a, like a dread about them. Like, oh, I got to deal with this and uh, I don't want to deal with this. You know, just kind of like dragging your feet a little bit about something. I don't know if this was work or relationship or anything like that. Um, so that's around 24. I'm just going to remove this dread here real quick. Okay, let's see. Is another trapped emotion? Uh, there is. Let's see. Yeah, there's also a unsupported here. So feeling unsupported. Let's see where this is. Uh, Actually, this isn't even yours. This is actually second trimester. So people wonder, wait, how could you get a second trimester unsupported? Uh, it's probably not you. What's interesting is, um, oh, dread, definitely schooling. Got it. Okay. Um, I released that one from you already, the dread part. And there's also an unsupported here that I got, second trimester. So usually during, uh, when you get something like unsupported here, and second trimester, and you're a baby in a womb, it's usually what they call absorbed emotion like it's not really yours you absorbed it from somebody else see if I ask your body right now is this your emotion yes yeah, so your body says no so uh, I can say is this like your father is this your mother so just your mother might have had a moment at second trimester where she felt unsupported and you being in the womb actually absorbed the energy from her you see so let's just release this unsupported here Okay, let's see. Is another trapped emotion here? Yeah, body says no. Is there a hidden one? Yeah, there's a hidden one here. So let's look up hidden trapped emotion. Let's see what this is. Um, yeah, there's an overwhelmed here, feeling overwhelmed. Let's see what this is. Uh, actually, this is just recently. Yeah, it's around 30, just two years ago. Um, so something around 30 years old feeling uh, overwhelmed, right? So I'm just going to release this one here. And for those of you who are joining on, thanks for coming on. Uh, I'm working with uh, Jaka here who's 32 years old. He's from uh, Slovenia. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's been dealing with MS symptoms for 19 years. I do have a client here uh, that does has MS. She actually just posted a comment here. Thanks, Don, for doing that. Um, and we're actually lowering her body pain little by little. Um, she was actually a Facebook Live just like this, and we are targeting her MS. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a cool thing that she's here. And um, anyway, so we wanted to focus on one area. We worked on the lower back pain, and um, so far we found frustration at 12, self abuse at 17, dread at 24, unsupported at second trimester, which was absorbed from the mom. Then there was a hidden trapped emotion of overwhelmed at 30. Anything ring a bell, Jaka? Around 30, where you might have felt overwhelmed is this a, a work thing or are you still in school or, or what's going on around 30 uh, and remember these are always give or take a year in, in regards to subconscious so it could be 31 it could be uh, uh, 29 so uh, let me just um, release this one real quick while he's but we're waiting for the answer there uh, let's see there's another hidden trapped emotion here and body says no so <clears throat> if you can do me a small favor Jack if maybe you could stand up real quick and um, you can uh, just walk around a little bit and uh, just walk around for like, you know, 10 steps and don't, don't mess with the lower back yet. And then after you walk around 10 steps, let's just check your lower back. Let's just see if it feels a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more relaxed. You said it was at a four when we got started, uh, but I just want to see if it's moved a little bit. So we'll just kind of wait on that. And then uh, we'll see if we need to use some body code here um, to help out even more. Oh, you felt, okay, unemployed or on the lot most of the time. Got it, okay. Yeah, so Jock, if you can do me that favor, just go ahead and take a deep breath, walk around 10 steps, and then let's just check your lower back. Let's see if it feels a little bit lighter and more relaxed. You said it was a four when we got started. Uh, I just want to see if it's moved a little bit. Again, if you guys are brand new here, you just joined on, let me know where you guys are dialing in from. I'd like to know um, you know where you're 
you're from. And if you can, like I said, uh, you know, we've had a lot of success with rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, um, you know, uh, people who have IBS, fatigue, all these different things. But also this body code also works with emotional stuff. You have depression, anxiety, PTSD. I also work with kids that are under 18 years old who um, the mother, I just personally work with the mother. In fact, most of our testimonials is me just working with the mom and she telling me like what their kids are dealing with. And the kid gets the healing, whether they're at school or whether they're at home and they don't even know me, to be honest. And the parents start seeing some significant changes uh, in their kids. It's pretty pretty amazing. And um, yeah, so we'll just wait for Jaka to, to do that real quick. And then once we find out if he feels like what the number on his back is. Let's just see how, it, how it's feeling. Uh, we'll see if we need to go into some body code work um, and go from there. If anybody has any questions at all, feel free to like comment below and uh, maybe I can answer it uh, either later on today when I'm done working uh, or maybe I'll answer it on the spot. Who knows? Kind of spontaneous like that. No one can stop me from being spontaneous. So, uh, oh, hey, Andrew Johnson's here. Janice, Julie, what's going on, guys? I'm going to play. It's about a three. Okay, guys, so perfect. So, and you might even feel a little bit calmer, maybe just a little bit more relaxed, you know? Um, so we say, I'm going to say, is there something else here that could be affecting your lower back? Your body said yes. So let's, let's dive in a little bit more. Jaka, you can sit down real quick, and let's see if we can, we can see if there's something else here causing that lower back pain. Uh, let me see. So something to do with circuits and systems here. Let me see if I can move this down for you guys. Um, yeah, so something to do with the glands here. Let me see what this is here. Yeah, so it's the adrenals. Um, yeah, so the adrenals, there's something going on here. And uh, if you can see here, if you look at the adrenals, if you look on the, on the left-hand side, it says pain in the low back, you know, fatigue, sensitivity, sorry, sensitivity to light, difficulty coping with stress, brain fog. And so I'm going to ask real quick, this is where we went, right? Because you never know. Um, you want to, whenever you do the body code, you always want to uh, go in there being like, anything can cause anything, you know? I don't like to assume anything. I like to just dive in here and be like, I don't know what we're going to find. A broken toe could affect the brain, <laughs> you know? It's like, that's kind of how I go in here. But the body said there's an adrenal issue here. So I'm going to write, for example, I'm going to check which adrenal is unhappy. Is the left adrenal happy? Yeah, it's not. Is the right adrenal happy? Yeah, so actually both of them aren't doing well. So I'm going to just make a note here, uh, left and right adrenal. So now what we need to do is we're going to go in here and say, what's causing this real quick? Let's see. Um, yeah, some type of uh, toxin here. Now let's see what this is. Yeah, there's some prions here, okay? So if you guys look up at uh, what prions are, um, they're basically like mutated proteins, kind of like deformed proteins, right? So I'm just gonna make a note here, there's some prions here that are affecting that area. And, and usually they come from either like tainted meat consumption, um, meat products, or it could be uh, heavy metals. So I'm just gonna ask, for example, does this have to do with like tainted meat products at all? No, does this have to do with heavy metals? It does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna release these prions here real quick. And then I'm going to say, um, you know, <clears throat> is there some type of heavy metal toxicity causing these prions? And your body actually said, yeah, there is. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to see what we find. Uh, so we just we can just go right to toxins and we can go into heavy metals. So I'll say, what type of heavy metal is causing issues here? And it's actually aluminum. Let me just double check here. Yeah, there's some aluminum toxicity here. Now. What I can do is I can release it energetically from you. So we're gonna do that real quick. And then I'm gonna ask, is there a major reason why you have uh, this aluminum toxicity here? Um, is, there, like, is there a major reason why you have that? Because sometimes you can get aluminum from anything. It could be come from food, uh, polluted air, water, cosmetics, things like that. But there might be something else here. So let me see. Is there a major reason that we can see in the body code chart that will explain why you have this aluminum here? Your body said there is. So now we're going to dive in here real quick and see what, where this came from. Okay, so some other toxin here. Yeah, it's a chemical. And let's see. Something medical here, okay? And so it's a vaccination toxicity, okay? So a lot of people don't know this, but vaccinations, um, they actually ha can have toxic components such as aluminum, formaldehyde, mercury, 
just uh, as it says here, adju ad, um, adjuvants that weaken the organism or preserve the vaccine. So uh, I don't know if you actually, actually uh, uh, Jaka, what's interesting is uh, I don't know if you remember when you, if you have some uh, vaccination toxicity, sometimes you get them as a child and you never know. Sometimes uh, uh, you know, they have some certain things in it, some certain toxic components. What we're going to do is we're just going to release this vaccination toxicity here from you. And then I'm going to ask, is there any type of cleansing needed? And your body said, yes, there is. So we're going to go to cleansing here real quick. And, and uh, Dr. Brad's been using this for over 20 years with his, um, with his clients and his patients. And um, these are like the ones that really worked in regards to some type of detox, you know. And so I'm just going to ask real quick what your body needs. And let me see what it says here. It's actually looking for a liver gallbladder flush okay so obviously um that's something in the future that you need to do um and what i'm going to do later on for you is i'm going to send you uh information about that uh if you if you notice here there's a whole document on how to do a liver gallbladder flush and this is the one that dr brad uses in fact it's um, um this is the, his, his favorite way to do that so uh